Hey, hey, Taurus, Intuitive Soul Coach here with your November career reading. So welcome back to my channel if you are returning and welcome if you are new. Today we're going to dive into the collective energy of Taurus and we're going to take a look at your finances, your money, uh, career. We're going to take a look at all of it. So just a friendly reminder, this is a general career reading for the collective energy of Taurus. May not resonate with every single one of you, so please do take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And Taurus, if you are interested in signing up for a personal reading or even entering into the free monthly reading giveaway, you can find both of those links in the description box below. All right, Taurus, so we are just going to get a few messages from the Wisdom of the Oracle before we dive into your Celtic Cross. So right out, we have Thinker. We have Thinker. So a lot of you are... You're in a position right now where you're thinking, how to uh, how do I get up out of this? How do I either make more money financially? How do I manifest that job that I want into my life? How do I work for the raise or promotion? Or how can I become an entrepreneur? So a lot of you are weighing up your options in your head and you're really getting down to the nitty gritty of wondering how you can manifest or make something happen at this time. So I feel like a lot of you have been thinking about some sort of a change or transformation for a while now, uh, but I feel like there's a new direction here. I'll be curious to see if the world card comes up for you uh, or even temperance because you have been waiting for a while and I feel like a cycle is, it's almost like it's coming close to an end here where you're graduating, you're stepping into a new beginning because we have serendipity showing up. And I love this card because it talks about synchronistic moments, events, people coming into place at the right time. Uh, you just kind of, I don't want to say things falling into your lap, but you're going to realize that people show up at the right time. Uh, for example, maybe you're at the grocery store and in line you hear somebody talking about a job opening at a place right next door to your building or uh, you know, you're going to be talking to the right people at the right time and you're going to see the synchronistic messages from the universe showing itself for you to move forward, especially because you're starting to activate whatever it is that you want regarding your career. You're starting to really put that out into the universe and the universe hears you. We do have by the book here. It's also card 11, which is uh, justice and tarot, and it's about bringing balance back into your life. Some of you, I'm getting... I'm getting you may be in a job right now where you have to conform, possibly even doing things, you know, punching a time clock or going to work and making sure you're there at 8 a.m., leaving at 5 p.m. There's no room for non-conformity here. And I feel like what you're really wanting to do is kind of break free from conforming to somebody else's requirements, somebody else's needs. I mean, don't we all? But sometimes people are leaders, sometimes they're followers here. And that's what you need to ask yourself. Uh, and if you are a leader, perhaps you're wanting to kind of go on your own venture, your own way, non-conforming, thinking outside the box. And that's where a lot of you are at at this time. Possibly wanting to expand, open a business, go in a new direction. Uh, maybe some of you are leaving a job and going into retirement here as well. So by the book, I really get the energy of you not conforming, living life on your own terms, standing at your personal best here, standing your ground, and having somewhat of an upper hand, being able to express ideas and openly, and people being able to communicate with you openly and effectively, instead of getting shut down, is what I am sensing here as well. So it does look good for you. I feel like the universe is aligning. Uh, I'm almost curious to see if we'll get that star card as well because I'm certainly getting the energy of uh, hope flow coming in for you. But let's take a look at what is going on in your energy. Taurus, what is the heart of the matter for your career? November 2021. What is the heart of the matter? Okay, thank you, Spirit. So we have... The heart of the matter along with the challenge, which I'll, which I'll read in a moment here, but we do have new beginnings. There's that world card I was talking about in the, in the very beginning here. It says, starting a new life, finding your purpose, a forgiving and compassionate review of the past. So a lot of you are 
coming up to some sort of completion here. There is a cycle that is ended here. You're coming very, very close to wrapping something up here, whether it's a course, uh, perhaps you have been learning something and now you're graduating to that next level. Uh, perhaps this is a job where you're leveling up and you're getting a promotion or raise. Or for some of you, this is an entirely new job opportunity coming in or you wanting to build your own business here. So I feel like the lessons uh, have been learned. You have acquired the knowledge to move forward now in a new direction. I love this for you. Let's take a look here and clarify the world card. Spirit, can you please clarify the world for Taurus? All right, we have the Knight of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles is uh, the slowest moving knight, but he still takes action. And I feel like with this showing up here, uh, it may have been a slow start to get to this new beginning here, but I feel like once you get the flow of things going, it's gonna take off for you. And the Knight of Pentacles is trustworthy, dependable, reliable. He puts in that hard work and it says slow and steady wins the race. So again, uh, I'm almost getting I'm getting the energy of uh, putting the stepping stones uh, in place here, and I feel like there's still a little bit of learning to do, but at least you're in a new phase of your career here. So I do like this energy showing up for you because it says whatever this is for you, this new beginning showing up here, it's going to be reliable, it's gonna be trustworthy, it's gonna bring in finances, uh, and slow and steady wins the race. So you'll work your way to the top, especially if this is a business or entrepreneur opportunity. Uh, it may start off slow. So for example, if you are wanting to start your your own YouTube channel. It may start off slow, but I feel like the more time, energy, and effort and persistence that you put into this here, it will take off here. So let's take a look at your challenge. We do have the four of Michael, which is the four of swords energy, Taurus. And this talks about uh, insights that come from quiet meditation, the need for more sleep or time off. And it says seek relief from stress. Four of Swords energy is about healing. So a lot of you may be ignoring some sort of signs of rest because you're possibly overworking, overworking yourself. I feel like you're overworking yourself so hard, whether that's studying, whether that is uh, putting in the projects, the effort uh, to achieve some sort of success within a company uh, or bring, putting out your resume and going to a million different job uh, offers a day here. But with the new beginning showing up, this is saying you may be doing a little bit too much, slow down a little bit because you're gonna get there. And that's what I'm sensing here. This new beginning is coming in regardless, but the Four of Swords just says, take a little bit of a pause, take a little bit of time out because I do see things speeding up for you. So take care of yourself, take care of your health at this time. Uh, let's clarify this Four of Swords. I'm definitely getting the overworking energy for a lot of you. Uh, Four of Swords is the energy as well. Um, it can be about inertia. It can be about actually moving forward in a situation as well. So if you feel like you're not overworking, perhaps some of you feel like maybe you're, you don't have the energy to keep going uh, into this new beginning here. Whoa. All right, let's see what is going on here. We don't need all those cards. Oh, okay. We have the Six of Swords showing up here. Uh, Six of Swords is about coming into calmer waters. Six of Swords is about a moving on. Oh, okay, and they want the one right behind it because that's showing up in the upright. One moment here. Uh, so again, Six of Swords is you moving on from the past. It's almost like you're going through a spiritual transition or journey and you're coming out stronger. This is almost a rite of passage for you. And right behind it, what do we have? That star that I mentioned in the beginning as well. And the star card is about your dreams coming true, especially if you've had a tower moment. And I did see during that little shuffle there uh, with the cards, a tower show up. So I feel like you did have a tower moment in the past, whether that was a separation uh, or some sort of a job loss here. But now you're having hope in this new beginning here and you're moving away from this uh, stagnant energy that you've possibly been in for a bit. Let's take a look here at the foundation. What is the foundation upon which you're built? How would you like these spirit? Thank you. Okay. The foundation we have is the Ace of Gabrielle, Ace of Pentacles. This is beautiful because it says uh, that a gift of passion 
opportunity here. Uh, actually, excuse me, Ace of Wands, not Ace of Pentacles, but it's a uh, the chance to do something amazing, a sense of wonder. And that may be here, Taurus, what you've been really contemplating and thinking for a while now. You've been contemplating, how can I bring more excitement into my job? How can I combine my passion with money for some of you as well? And it definitely says that there's opportunities and you've been feeling very inspired. You're built on inspiration and creativity. A lot of you may be in some sort of a job that... Uh, is very creative as well, or it kind of makes you think outside the box. Even if some people think it could be a boring job, there's always something new coming in here. You're always uh, shuffling, you're moving around. I'm getting a very almost fast paced energy, whether you, even if you're sitting all day, the fast pace could be your mind. You're constantly having to think or answer phones or communicate with people here. Uh, but the Ace of Pentacles says that your passion is the underlying drive. Uh, and you want to be able to combine your passion with, uh, with your money, with your freedom, with your reliability here. So beautiful. Let's take a look and clarify the Ace of Wands. Spirit, can you please tell me about the Ace of Wands showing up here for Taurus as the foundation? Okay, we have the Eight of Wands. Okay, so uh, I feel like you've you had an idea here with the Eight of Wands or you, you heard some sort of news that came in that may have changed everything, but I feel like this could have been an intuitive kick or an intuitive nudge here uh, in a direction, a certain direction, because the Eight of Wands is about velocity. It's about speed. It's about travel. It's also about news coming in, whether you are spiritually or divinely guided, so you're listening to your intuition, or uh, it's physical or external news that came in and kind of changed the course of everything. So if it was this tower moment that came in here and actually had you thinking, oh wow, well I don't work for that person anymore, or I'm not going to get the raise I thought I was promised for the last five years, what direction do I need to go in now? So I feel like once something was revealed to you here, Taurus, uh, your thoughts in a new direction completely manifested and uh, you, you took action. You took action here. Let's take a look at the recent past. Okay, we have the moon, yeah. So the moon says, it says the opportunity to improve your plans, listen to your intuition for accurate guidance and face your fears and grow stronger. The moon card says that there was a lot of uncertainty. There was a lot of hidden truths. There was some deception, some confusion. And I feel like you felt left out on in the sidelines here, left out in the cold. And the moon card says that uh, there was a lot of illusions, a lot of broken promises here or things that you just couldn't see below the surface. Uh, maybe people were shady to you in your workplace. Maybe your boss, again, kept telling you you would be able to have uh, have success or have that raise if you would only you know do this or do that and then it came down to it where either the company closed or maybe they just had to lay off workers here uh, or maybe you got sick and you thought that these people were family and then all of a sudden boom they weren't so um definitely a lot of illusions here with the moon card but we have the ten of cups showing up in reverse so the ten of cups again says that there you were feeling discontent uh, discontent in your past here, not feeling worthy of a job well done, a lot of disharmony or disputes, a lot of miscommunication, and a lot of unrealistic goals somebody had of you. Somebody uh, possibly said, hey, Taurus, I need this, 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 and this done by the end of the day. And you're looking at them, almost shaking your head like, what? Even five people could even do the first five things you mentioned on that list in one day, and you expect me to do all 10. So there's definitely unrealistic goals coming out. And it left you feeling uh, a lot of emotions, a lot of emotions. Emotions, and I feel like it ultimately is what kind of caused you to go in a new direction. Let's take a look at the potential. We have the eight of Gabrielle. Yes, there's that busybody energy. I like this. This is the eight, um, excuse me, the eight of Pentacles. That's the card we are just clarifying here. See if it shows up. Nope. Uh, that's that velocity. That's that fast energy. That's the movement relocation. It says a great deal of activity, sudden and immediate results, important communication. So not only is something quickly happening, I feel like again, with the thinker card showing up, it's almost like 
You thought of something and boom, it, it, it manifested, especially with synchronicity. Uh, things showing up and appearing out of left field. So, whoa, this is going to take you in a completely new direction. And this news is going to come in and change everything for you here. So there will be important communication that comes in. Uh, let's take a look and clarify what is this communication. What is this communication coming in for Taurus? Thank you. Oh my gosh, Taurus. We have the sun card. This communication is coming in saying, if you've been wanting that job, you're getting it. If you've been going for this raise or promotion, you're getting it. If you've been trying to start your own business, here is the financial means to do it. The sun card talks about abundance, vitality, success. It's about uh, truth and public recognition and fame as well. So you may be being put in the spotlight at this time. Uh, you may be magnetized or illuminated, but everybody uh, wants a piece of Taurus at this time. But mostly what I'm sensing here is the amount of abundance. You're gonna hear something that is gonna bring uh, Bring a lot of uh, money in as well. So it could be an offer that's even bigger and better than you thought, but it's going to leave you feeling really good. The sun is the happiest, one of the happiest cards in the whole deck. So whatever this is coming in for you, this news, it's going to change everything for you. Let's take a look at the near future. Uh, we have peace. All right, beautiful peace card. This is the transformation card. This is death. This says uh, you've outgrown a cycle. There is a time of an ending. You're starting a beautiful new chapter. And this new chapter is going to bring a lot more peace, especially if you've been in your head uh, overthinking, overworking, or really trying to get somewhere, and but you feel like you're getting nowhere. This peace card says you'll finally be able to what? Slow down, work on yourself. Even though things are speeding up for you, I feel like in your mind, things will be able to slow down because uh, you won't be full of worry and stress and anxiety any longer. And it says, release the past. There is a more uh, enriching future. So you're letting go and you're letting God. You're stepping into this beautiful new role that's actually going to bring a lot of happiness towards you. I love this. What a beautiful reading for your career, Taurus. Whatever you've been working towards, you're going to get that communication. That's the ultimate yes. Let's take a look and clarify this death card. All right. Clarifying the death card, we have the Page of Wands. Uh, new energy coming in here. This is uh, you getting something off the ground. Somebody is going to come in here and say, hey, Taurus, we have an offer for you. So there's your offer if you've been waiting for it here. Page of Wands says, this is exciting. Okay, this is uh, something exciting, something uh, possibly spontaneous, but I feel like it's going to happen boom, boom, boom. So what I'm sensing here, for example, let's say you go in for an interview on day one. This happened to me a while back. One time I went in for an interview on a Wednesday. Uh, they called me back on a Thursday with the offer. That Friday I started working. So I feel like uh, the Page of Wands is somebody that's coming in uh, that has their eye on you. you I certainly said that you were going to be magnetized here. This person has their eye on you and they're coming in with an offer. I love this. Taurus, let's take a look and see what you are telling yourself. What are you telling yourself in the month of November for your career? Eight of Ariel. Take great pride in excellent work. Practice makes perfect. Consider getting additional education or training. So the Eight of Ariel here is the Eight of Pentacles. Beautiful. It's about mastering your craft. You're learning something new. You're stepping into a new role. So even if you've been doing this for 20 years, every time we go into a new position, it's like a fresh start, a new beginning. And again, you've closed down something with the world card in the very beginning. You've shut down the cycle. You're stepping into this new role and it may seem a little scary but exciting at the same time and that's what uh, you're preparing yourself you may be buying a new wardrobe you may be uh, cutting your hair or dyeing your coloring your hair here uh, they're also telling me you could be reading up on the company or you could be reading a self-help book on how to maybe communicate better or how to how to bring in more clients especially if you're an entrepreneur a lot of you are really stepping into your power at this time i'm feeling really good energy with that solar plexus let's take a look here and clarify the eight of pentacles oh all righty so we have the five of pentacles and we have the knight of wands so definitely something that you are 
uh, you've been working on for a while. You've been jumping through hoops to get to where you want to be here is what I'm getting with the Knight of Wands. You've been taking action. Why? Uh, because you've you felt left out. Maybe financial uh, difficulties here with the Five of Pentacles. But what this is saying here is regardless of the financial difficulties in the past, uh, this is a financial recovery. This is an end of a hardship. All of your hard work, energy, and effort of you jumping through these hoops is going to pay off. I love this. Let's take a look at the external influences. What's going on in your environment for November? What is going on in your environment? King of Ariel. This is the King of Pentacles. You are bossing up, Taurus. This talks about success, stability, accomplishment, and power. Your plans are working out very well. Professional and financial success. And it talks about you using those resources wisely. So boom, King of Pentacles. Total boss uh, energy, entrepreneur. This is about you being fully committed here and uh, you being disciplined because you've been, you have been disciplined. You've been jumping through hoops to try to get to where you want to be. And you're finally seeing the successes from that, the fruits of your labor here. Oh, I love it. Beautiful reading here, Taurus. You're going to be happy come November. Let's take a look and clarify the King of Pentacles. Oh, two of them there. All right, what do you got? Okay, yep. So whatever this is coming in, uh, Four of Swords says you will have that little bit of downtime, okay? So there will be uh, a weight off your shoulders with this Four of Swords, this healing energy here. It's a time for renewal. It's rejuvenation after that tower moment. And the Knight of Swords comes in and the Knight of Swords is a decision maker. So I feel like you may again have a few days of almost downtime here and then boom, there's gonna be a decision that either you'll have to make, you'll have to either say yes. So if there's a little bit of time uh, for example, Aries, or excuse me, uh, Taurus, maybe you're, maybe you'll be dealing with an Aries or have Aries in your chart. Uh, but Taurus, I feel like if there is a little bit of a, a few day lapse before you need to get back to somebody, take that few days off so you're able to kind of rejuvenate yourself, refresh yourself, and get into this new energy instead of just shuffling out of one energy into the next, kind of what I told you with that um, hiring, the interview, the hiring, and then the starting the next day. For me, there was no downtime. So if there is, which usually there is, either that two week prior, or maybe you have, you can say to these people, I'm gonna start on a Monday, and it's really a Wednesday of the week prior. Give yourself those days because you will need it. All right, let's take a look here at your hopes and your fears. What is going on for Taurus, hopes and fears? We have the Five of Michael, uh, the Five of Swords energy. Five of Swords energy uh, says your fear is maybe you're not able to build the skills that you need in the situation here. What if uh, all of this work that you've been putting into it and winning, it's almost like a winning at all costs mentality. What if it's not in your higher good here? It says this situation isn't serving. Release your attachment to the outcome. So that is the fear here is... Uh, is things turning out exactly how you'd hoped, but I feel like the outcome is gonna be bigger and better than you even imagined. So release any attachment to what things look like to you because spirit has a better plan. Consider taking a more uplifting approach. So again, with the fear here, it's about uh, conflict. You're hoping that all this hard work and energy will pay off. And uh, the, the hope here is that you will find a solution. Okay, the fear here is putting all this hard work and conflict and back and forth energy into something and it doesn't pay off. And again, the hope is that things will work out, that there won't be any drama, any conflict here, that people won't have any hard feelings, especially if you've been putting in a lot of time, energy, and effort. Let's clarify the Five of Swords. Thank you. Aha. Uh -huh. The fear here is uh, stagnancy, but I feel like your hope is forward movement. And it's certainly coming in. You have the eight of Gabrielle twice here, eight of wands energy. Uh, you want this new beginning that's also going to be more emotionally fulfilling for you. And the fear is, what if I uh, 
do this just for the financial gain, but it doesn't mean a lot to my heart here. Uh, and then the Eight of Wands. Oh my gosh, Eight of Wands showing up again. This is the third time you're uh, about the news that comes in and changes everything very quickly for you. So it's scary. That is a hope and a fear at the same time is what Spirit is saying here. They're giving me uh, a name here, Stefan. Stefan, so if that is your name, Stefan, please take it as it resonates, Stefan. Uh, let's take a look at the final outcome, Taurus. What is the final outcome for my beautiful Taurians? All right, we have the Six of Michael. They do want me to go again. You've already gotten the Six of Michael, Six of Swords. You're definitely moving out of troubled waters and you're going towards that peace. So I like that for you. Okay, way too many there. Uh, Five of Michael. So I like that you're going from your fears. So there's your hopes and fears, the five. And you are stepping out of those fears. And this is your hope. Uh, I love it. The six of Michael is actually showing up as a very positive omen here because it says you're definitely moving on. You're leaving the past in the past. You are going through some sort of a spiritual transition or spiritual journey at this time. And you are bringing balance back into your life. It says it's the light at the end of the tunnel. Breathe a sigh of relief and make new plans. It can be relocation or travel. So beautiful energy here showing up as your outcome. And then Justice talks about rulings made in your favor. Oh, yes. Beautiful reading here, Taurus. They're telling me I don't even need to clarify because we pulled that extra card there. So uh, definitely light at the end of the tunnel for you coming in. So loving that for you. All right, we're going to get a message from the Soul Truth Oracle here. And uh, I, really, I really like these cards because it makes you get down and think on that deep soul level. So sometimes I ask that either you journal this question or maybe pause the video and really take this into that soul uh, questioning here. What am I grateful for? And uh, right now it says adopt an abundant mindset. Gratitude is the antidote to all of our problems. It is impossible to be fearful and grateful at the same time. Gratitude improves our health, opens our heart, and changes our states. Today's soul action, Taurus, the universal law of attraction says that we attract into our lives on, which, on that which we are focused on. Close your eyes, put your hand on your heart, and think of three things for which you are grateful for today. Notice the abundance growing within you. So absolutely, practice gratitude. You have a lot of abundance coming your way. So every time something new comes in for you, be grateful for the new beginning. Be grateful for uh, the rejuvenation, the uh, communication between you and others. You're definitely stepping outside of the box and you're non-conforming and you're living life more on your terms versus everybody else's. And I feel like it's because you're manifesting the life that you want, especially with a lot of new gratitude coming in for you. All right. So for those of you that are new to my channel, we're going to do the spirit animal oracle exercise here where I just have you close your eyes for a moment, Taurus. And I want you to really uh, tune into that third eye center, the area between your eyes. And I want you to think of the first animal that comes into your mind's eye. It can be an animal that flies high in the sky. Maybe they swim in the sea. Perhaps they're majestical or magical or divine. So just take a moment and think of an animal that comes to your mind's eye. If you need a moment, just pause the video. And what I'm going to do here, this um, a new thing I've been trying out and really loving it because I love the interaction with all of you out there. Uh, for those of you that post your power animal in the comment box below, I will enter you personally into my monthly free reading giveaway. Uh, and if you don't want to enter your animal, totally A-OK. -okay. You can go down in the description box and enter that way as well. All right, so your messages are, you have horse spirit, horse. It says, freedom is yours. Freedom is yours. That's what the overall message is saying here. You're going to receive some sort of news that is going to set you up financially uh, for financial freedom, for 
growth for expansion but also uh travel so you're able to do come and go as you wish as well that's going to allow you for for more flexibility is what i'm sensing here uh antelope life is speeding up it certainly is get those running shoes on here taurus because life is speeding up we have coyote trust in divine detours that's what i was saying here regarding your hopes and fears sometimes uh the universe has a better plan than possibly you thought you had for yourself but you have the sun card showing up as the potential and in the near future and i'm certainly getting the energy of a lot of uh peace happiness abundance and prosperity coming your way we have lizard spirit, dream the world into being. This talks about manifesting as well. Kind of what this energy of the card here, uh, gratitude just talked about. Being grateful and the law of attraction, what you think about, you bring about. So focus on uh, abundance and gratitude. And then lastly, oh wow, we have transformation is beautiful, butterfly. And you do have uh, the death card showing up in the near future, which embodies the energy of transformation. So Taurus, what, what is going on here? You are going to be so happy. I feel like this is one of your most abundant months in the entire year of 2021. I will say that here. Uh, I feel like whatever is coming in for you, it's even bigger and better than you imagine. For example, let's say you were hoping for a job that paid, you know, uh, $25 an hour at the minimum here, you're going to receive news that, oh, somebody may be paying $35 an hour, or you may get a $10,000 bonus each year, or you may receive a company vehicle, phone, and an office. Whatever this is for you is going to be even bigger and better than you imagined. We also have the uh, 11 is what they're telling me here, uh, the justice card, okay? And the justice card is uh, showing up in your final outcome. So card 11 in tarot is justice, even though in this deck it's card eight. It used to be card uh, 11, but in uh, most times now, the justice card is card 11. It's just this deck, it's still going by uh, old school. So anyway, transformation, you are divinely guided and you are on your life's path at this time. So I love this energy for you showing up. And last but not least here, we're just going to pull a card. Usually I pull from the crystal deck, or excuse me, crystal bowl. But I'm going to use the crystal deck and I'm going to read the prosperity message from the crystal spirit guidebook. All right. What do we have here, spirit? What stone do we have? We have Spessartine Garnet. Uh, I hope I'm not butchering that, but we have a garnet for you. So card 53. One moment, let me just find this energy of this card here. This is about charm and charisma. It's about shining and sparkling, being a brilliant beacon of confidence that inspires others. Wow. All right, your prosperity message here is this, Taurus. In ancient times, the sun was revered for its power, revered for its power. And today, this garnet brings the message that you are a powerful manifester of abundance and extraordinary co-creator, but only if you let the real you shine. You are charismatic and dazzling, and when you accept that, opportunities show up, as do people willing to place their faith in you and invest in your ideas and projects. Abundance grows more abundance. Know that you can magnetically attract anything you need from a small favor to a major contribution for you inspire others to believe in you. Shine on. Wow, that is really powerful. And there, you know, it is embodies the sun energy and you did get that sun card again. So make sure that you are letting your true authentic self shine. And if you have the stone or crystal of garnet, you certainly can utilize that energy Taurus uh, to bring more abundance into your life for the month of October. So I hope this message resonates with you. Feel free to visit it again in November. Uh, regarding uh, November, I am getting November 11th as well. Very powerful, 11, 11, 21. Uh, coming in for you, manifest on that day. So especially because you do have the gratitude card, make sure you are, maybe even make a vision board 
uh, perhaps this is about you making a list of all the things that you would like to see in a new career opportunity here. Um, I'm feeling great about this. I love the energy. Uh, shine, shine your light bright. If this message does resonate, Taurus, please feel free to hit that like button, share, subscribe, and do comment your power animal below to be entered into that monthly free reading giveaway. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I am sending you all out a lot of light and abundance. Till next time.